What's up Maniacs, my name is Max, I am a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac if you will and today we are discussing NXT. The black and gold brand are only three weeks away from TakeOver 30, I still can't believe I'm saying TakeOver 30 and storylines are beginning to get into motion as to the kind of matches we are going to see at that pay-per-view. So to hear everything that took place on today's show, stay tuned. Right here at WrestleManiac UK, I discuss everything that is WWE and AEW. So if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into the review. So truth be told, this show was all right. There was a lot of good wrestling on the show, but it wasn't anything overly excited. So I'm going to highlight the main bits that happened on the show, the main storyline bits, I would say, and then we'll kind of go through the rest of the matches. We found out who the next superstar in the North American Championship ladder match at TakeOver 30 is going to be, and that is Dexter Loomis. He was in a triple threat match against Timothy Thatcher and Finn Balor and came out on top. I really didn't see this coming. He has been getting a bit of a push, but, but then obviously Timothy Thatcher has been a key figure in recent weeks on the show. Dexter Loomis has as well, but then I thought, you know, Finn Balor being Finn Balor, add some star quality to this match but no they've went with Dexter Loomis and I think that really says a lot to be honest the fact that Dexter Loomis has advanced from this qualifying stage these are basically underdogs from each of their qualifying matches that have now got through into the actual ladder match so now we know those are two of the five positions that have been filled for this match it's going to be interesting to see who are the remaining three next week we're getting Damian Priest versus Ridge Holland who's making his NXT debut versus Oni Lorcan. Now on paper I'm sure everyone would think that Damian Priest would be the winner of this match but I don't know anymore because every qualifying match is beginning to show us a bit of an upset so I do think Damian Priest would probably be a good choice as the next North American champion. Maybe Dijakovic is going to come back in the next few weeks and enter the match as well who knows but on paper you would say Damian Priest but things haven't been working out on paper so it'll be interesting to see who advances from next week's qualifying match. But like I say Dexter Loomis is now in the ladder match and just thoughts of him being a North American championship it could be quite I don't even know what the word is it's just quite weird. What do you think if Dexter Loomis was to win the North American Championship? Put any comments you have down below. The other major story I would say coming out of NXT this week was a very unhappy and unimpressed Keith Lee coming down to the ring not taking any crap at all they let him drop two s-bombs which they bleeped out Cameron Grimes came to run it up to him he just shut him down on several occasions Keith Lee basically called out Karrion Cross and has told William Regal make the match if this is what this guy wants make the match for me personally I feel like Keith Lee Karrion Cross is happening a bit too early i know they're in the middle of a ratings war and probably want to get all the matches that are you know blockbuster matches done so that they are competing alongside what's happening on aew but i do think this is too early into keith lee's reign the only thing that makes me confident is that he's not necessarily going to lose is because it is so early into his reign it looks like if this match is granted this will be his first title defense Surely it's too early to lose it. Surely he's not going to lose his belt to carry and cross on his first title defense, especially after giving up the North American Championship as well. So I guess in the next few weeks, we're going to see if William Regal makes carry and cross jump through any hoops to see if he is the rightful number one contender to Keith Lee's championship. And if we get that match, I'm telling you, I'm going to be watching it with both hands covering my eyes through the gaps in my fingers because if Keith Lee loses this, on his first attempts, people are not going to be happy, I'll tell you that for sure. But ultimately, Karrion Cross has been built to this massive star, so at the same time, how are they going to get out of this? I guess we're going to find out soon. Guys, if you are enjoying this review, please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, like the video, it does loads for the channel and we thoroughly appreciate it here at WrestleManiac UK. First match we had on the show was NXT Women's Champion Io Shirai teaming up with Tegan Knox to take on Candice LeRae and Dakota Kai. And this match just started straight from the off, just as Io Shirai 
Shirai was making her entrance, she was attacked by Dakota Kai on the ramp. Then came out Tegan Knox to make the save. Then came out Candice LeRae to make the save. So all women were quite fired up for this tag match. We had loads of good action within the match, especially from Io Shirai. Again, just showing how much of an athlete, how good she really is. But the finish saw Dakota Kai actually abandoning the match, leaving Candice LeRae out in the middle of the ring, which made for easy pickings for Tegan Knox and Io Shirai to get the win. After a war of words during the week has both of these men failed to qualify for the ladder match at NXT TakeOver 30, Johnny Gargano and Roderick Strong went up against each other in a hard hitting match. Two of the best wrestlers on NXT I would say, just amazing technical ability and this was a really good match that Johnny Gargano got the win in with the final beat DDT. We had the latest member of the Robert Stone brand Mercedes Martinez take on Shotzi Blackheart and as Mercedes Martinez came out, I guess we all knew there was only one winner here she has an aura her entrance everything there's just like another power behind her sort of thing don't say Robert Stone because it's not him but she was really good in this match and beat Shotzi Blackheart with a air raid crash with a kind of modified air raid crash disappointed to see Shotzi Blackheart lose because I really do like her but Mercedes Martinez has got something special and she's a veteran and she deserves this little push that she's going to get at NXT we had the NXT tag team champions Imperium on the show for the first time in a long time I missed their entrance music but it was good to see the boys back they took on Everrise in what was pretty much a squash match but more or less straight after they won we had a newly fired up undisputed error swarm the ring and attack Imperium letting them know that this is their NXT still and next week we are going to get a tag team championship match between Imperium and the undisputed errors Kylo O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. We also had a bit of cruiserweight action on the show. Isaiah Swerve Scott took on Jake Atlas. I think Swerve has got massive potential within this division and probably beyond this division as long as NXT look after him and put him in some good stories, some good feuds. Right now he's proven that he is going to be the number one contender for the cruiserweight championship. And he done this by beating Jake Atlas in a pretty entertaining match. First with a house call outside the ring and then the JML driver to get the win. So guys, that was my NXT review. Like I said, a lot of good matches. We had two real main storyline pushes that was around the North American Championship and what may happen with the NXT title. Next week, we're also gonna get Dakota Kai versus Rhea Ripley, number one contenders match for the Women's Championship. So that's going to be entertaining. Can't really tell who might get the win there. Rhea Ripley has been off TV for a bit, although she's still Rhea Ripley, but Dakota Kai has been doing some really good work. So can't wait to see that. Guys, if you enjoyed the review, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. And if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. WrestleManiac UK signing out and I'll see you soon.